G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in today's workshop, we're gonna take a look at creating and developing an end-to-end -end solution to help you manage your device allocation. So we're going to use a combination of Microsoft Lists, Microsoft Syntex Content Assembly, and also Power Automate to help facilitate the automation of agreement letters out to people that are being assigned devices. And we're gonna try and do this in under 10 minutes for us. So let's get cracking. Um, we are going to, first of all, set the scene. I am logged in as Megan here and we've got a site that we're going to work in. We've got three uh, items uh, in this site. We've got the asset assignments Microsoft list. We've got a document library that's storing our master templates here and one of those is a device agreement template. And then we've got a document library that is going to store the actual uh, agreement letters that have been sent out. They're going to get stored in there. Now, the first thing we are going to do is create a uh, modern template in our device agreements library. So under the new button here, we're gonna create a modern template and then we're gonna use that, um, that document that we saw in that document library. So let's just uh, jump back into here and go into master template templates, we're going to select our device agreement template, and that's going to load that into the syntax content assembly editor, where we can start to map our fields. Now we've got our, um, our, our Microsoft list that we're going to use as the basis for our data here. So I am going to select this templated uh, or this, this placeholder here, and we're gonna add a field. So let's go employee name as the name of the field, and then we are going to choose and select from a choice in a column of a list or a library. So we're going to choose the uh, asset assignments list here, and then the column that we wanna use is the current owner, which is the person or group. So we're gonna save that, uh, and then we are going to um, then use that in, the, uh, in, in that placeholder. Now the device type, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna highlight, we're gonna add a new field. Uh, let's just go type. Um, that's not where we want to type. We want to type in over in this section here. So we're going to type and then we're going to hit next and we're going to select from the same list. We're going to select the uh, asset assignments here and then we are going to asset type. We're going to choose that. We're gonna save, and then we're gonna continue on here. The model, which again, we do have a field um, in our list for model that we're going to map to. So select choices, and again, we're gonna choose our uh, asset assignment. We've got our model here. And then the last one we're going to do is our device serial number. So we'll highlight that placeholder. Uh, we'll just pop in SN for the name of the field. And then again, we're going to choose our serial number column from that same list, which is that one there. So we'll save that. And now we've got three uh, items there that are mapped, all right? So now we're good to go, we're gonna publish that. So that's our modern template that has been uh, created and published. Now, one last thing before we publish, what I wanna do is I want to pop out uh, and uh, extract out of this template the type and the model, all right? Uh, and add those as columns in the SharePoint library uh, that these, these documents get created in. So we're going to do that, we're gonna publish, and then that's gonna publish that template to that library. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to build out our Power Automate flow that is going to automatically create these documents based on a new entry in our asset assignments list here. So we'll jump into Power Automate and we will open up uh, a new tab and then we'll jump in and we'll create a brand new Power Automate flow uh, that will trigger on item creation in that asset list. All right, so let's start uh, building our flow. So let's go uh, asset assignment as our name 
Uh, and then when an item is created is the trigger that we are going to use. So we'll create that. We then need to select our site and our list that we need to monitor for new items. So once that loads into the editor here, we'll go, we'll pick our site address, which is the content assembly workshop, uh, top one there. And our list is our asset assignments. So we're good to go. When an item is created, that's what we want to do here. Now, a new step is I want to get the information um, from the newly created item. So I'm going to choose the get item action uh, under the SharePoint connector. And then we're going to get the, the details of that newly uh, created item. So again, we'll pass in the site address, the list name, and we're gonna pass in the ID that we get from the previous trigger up above there. So now we're good to go. Now what we wanna do is use the generate document uh, using Microsoft Syntex Preview. And we're going to then, again, we're gonna pass in the content assembly site, the document library that we want to create these in, which is the device agreements, the document template, which is the device agreement template, the folder where we're just going to create it in the root. Now the file name here, I'm going to use and create a dynamic um, option here. So I am going to choose the owner display name and also the uh, device type, all right? So the asset type value is what I'm gonna to, to, to create the file name as. Now the employee name is going to be the display name of the current owner. So the current owner uh, there, the current owner display name, the type we are going to choose again, a dynamic value, which is asset type, um, now the model, which is model there, and then the serial number, which we do have as a value here, is going to be there like so. Now the next part, actually, let's just double check the type. So we'll pop in here, we'll go type. Um, now we actually want the asset type, so not the asset type value. So let's go asset type there and we should be now good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that. Once that's saved, let's give this a test. All right, so we are now ready to test. So we'll click the test button and we will select manual for uh, this test. So we'll just wait for that to, to kick off in Power Automate. Then we'll jump back into the SharePoint site and then we will create a new item. So that's sitting there ready to go. So let's go to uh, asset assignments and go new asset assignment. Let's update, uh, upload a device photo here. So let's just go for or our Surface laptop. Um, let's go give this a tag of this. We'll go status is reserved. Manufacturer can be Microsoft. So we'll just fill this out here uh, so that we've got all of our information and it's a laptop. We'll go uh, space gray. Let's go these numbers. We won't worry about purchase dates or anything like that. Now the current owner can be Alex. Uh, previous owner was Nesta. This isn't coming through in the template, only the current owner is. Um, and then let's hit save. So that's now adding a new item to our assets assignment list there. So here's our item that we can now uh, track and keep, uh, keep on top of. Now let's just jump back to our flow and we will have a look and see how things are going in here. So we've um, triggered off, we've got the item and let's uh, click open and we've got a green tick here. So everything looks good. So let's jump into our device agreements and let's just give this a bit of a refresh. Let's pull our um, document here. So you can see we've got this uh, document. It's it's concaten uh, concatenated the name for us. Let's open up the document, make sure we've got the right information in here. So we've got Alex in here, but you can see what we've got here is we've got a little bit of an issue with our data that's being passed in uh, with our device type. So let's go back and have a look and see what the issue is with this particular field. So I'm going to go back into, let's just double check the, um, 
Let's edit the Power Automate flow and let's double check this. So it was the device type, which is asset type. So, so we need to use the asset type value in this type uh, text box here. So we're just going to change this to asset type value. Let's now save this and give this another test. So it's just saving. And now we'll hit the test button and then we'll use a previously triggered event. So let's just test it on one of those. It's now running. Uh, so now what we should see is we've got some green ticks happening here. Let's jump back into the document library, which is the device agreements. We'll refresh this document library now. Here's our document. And let's now have a look and see that we've got the right device type, which we do. So there we go. So now we've got a, a functioning document generation. Now, what about sending this agreement to actually to Alex as an attachment, or sorry, as an approval inside of Power Automate, and then all he needs to do, or all the recipient needs to do, is just hit the approve button, and then we know that they have read it and they've approved it. So let's build out this flow a little bit more. So let's edit this item now so we've now generated our document what we want to do though is I want to get the properties of this document so I'm going to go to get properties because I want to specifically get the file path right so I'm going to get the file properties where again we just need to pass in the site address the library name and the ID of the file that has just been created which we can get from the step above so you can see here the item ID. So now we have got uh, or are getting the item ID. Now what we want to do, I'll just save that. We want to add a new step. This time, let's add an approval step in here. So we'll go for an approval and then we want to start and wait for an approval. Uh, the approval type can be the first to respond because we're only going to send it to one person. The title can be um, your device agreement. for review uh, and approval. And then we can assign that dynamically to the person. So um, let's go owner because that's the name, that's the name of the person that's gonna be owning it. So we want the owner email, uh, the details, the item link here is, because we've got the file properties, we can get the link to the item. So under this get file properties, we've got link to the item. Uh, let's go your agreement letter as the description. And then we've start, we've created our approval. Now what we want to do is add a condition. So we want to say if yes. So let's choose the outcome here. And if the outcome is equal to, let's just expand this out. If the outcome is equal to approve, let's go down this yes path. Let's uh, then send an email back to the person that created this item in the first place. So I am going to go to email and then we'll go send an email. And then what we want to do is we just, the person that created the item in the asset list in the first place, we, let's just send that person um, the email response that it has all been approved. So we want we don't want the file, we want the item. So we want the created by, this is from the get item action. We want the created by subject. Let's go uh, device uh, agreements approved. And let's just pass in the owner. So we want the owner display name all approved for, again, let's just pass in the owner display name and we might go for device type or let's go model. Let's just pop in model there. All right, so let's save this. All right, so now we're saving um, and let's test this one more time. All right, so now I'm just gonna jump back into the library. I'm gonna delete this document here. We're gonna use the same value, the same item in the list, all right? So that's already still sitting there. But now what we're gonna do is we are going to trigger this and what should happen now is an approval process should happen for Alex. So I'll just grab Alex's uh, email over here and what we will have is in a minute, once this kicks off is we will have an approval um, notification inside of Alex's inbox. So it's just getting the file properties. It's now starting the approval. So here, 
Uh, we'll just wait for this approval to come in. So I'll just drag Alex's uh, window across over here. So that'll come into the inbox with a link to the actual generated agreement as well. Uh, and then Alex can review that agreement uh, and then come back and just simply approve that, um, approve that item. So there it is, it's popped in here. Uh, we'll open this up. We've got a link directly to that agreement letter which will be pre-populated with all the dynamic uh, information from that list. So we've got it all in there. He can read that, jump back to his email and simply approve this process now so that the end result is that he has confirmed the agreement We'll jump back to the Power Automate flow and you can see there that has now been created. Now I'm logged in as Megan. So what Megan's now going to get is an, an approval email here. See, and here we go, device approved, Alex. And here is the body of the email. So there we have it. Um, a little simple end-to-end -end process that we can trigger on item creation to generate a document, in our case, a device agreement document, send that to the person that is actually uh, receiving the device. They can review it, approve it, and then that whole process is finished. Obviously, you can take that and expand it uh, and tailor it to your needs as well, but it does give you the basis of a, a nice, simple end-to-end -end process. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.